Hi, I'm Donovan Menard, and I'm here reporting for the Mountaineer to give you the inside scoop on this year's Mountain Lakes High School drama, Pride and Prejudice. Got this nice poster here. I wonder who designed this, you know? Like, sometimes I just wonder who designed this poster, you know? Like, I just think about that a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, they're preparing for the show, which is November 15th. Only got a couple weeks to go, so they're keeping things pretty, uh, top secret. But don't worry, I'm gonna sneak in. Come on. Now we just have to find someone to interview, you know? All right. Wait a second. I'm here with Hallie Corman, who's the stage manager for this drama production. So, Hallie, what's, how's this, the stage going these days? You know, it's going great. Um, it's a little stressful because every day we're doing something different, changing up blocking, changing up lines, switching things around. But for the most part, it's a lot of fun. Interesting. Um, also, what is, what is Pride and Prejudice? I don't know how oh, gosh, a lot of people are. Prejudice. It's not, it's not what you think it is. It's not like the boring, you know, novel, like, no, it's a lot, it's fun, it's uplifting. There's a lot of, um, you know, like women empowerment, especially because Lizzie doesn't want a husband, but everyone else around her wants a husband. Exactly. Exactly, you know? Yes. It's like, and there's gonna be pop culture references. Oh, uh, there's so right? many pop culture references. I've always felt that, like, if a piece of lit literature or theater doesn't have pop culture references, no, then, it's like, then, then what is it doing? Like, exactly. Uh, like what? Like what the hell? Why? Why does any of this matter? I, I guarantee everyone, whether you're like older or younger, you'll find something that you'll be like, ah, I can relate to that, or like I understand what you're saying. Yeah, they got stuff for the little kids. I'm mm -hmm. sure they're doing Fortnite dances. Of, of, of kids of are gonna course, love of course, that. Guys, of course, guys. that damn Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's like a bunch. Well, thank you for your. Of course. Of course. I'm here with Pat a Pat Luang Wirin. Nice to meet you. Who doesn't love this guy? Well, come on. Come on. Uh, anyway, um, Pat Pat, you, you're playing the role of Mr. Bing Bingley. Lee. Yes, sir. Mr. Bingley is one of the love interests in the show, and he's uh, depicted as a very peculiar but fun and very loving dog. The thing is, he's a dog metaphorically, not. Actually, but, but he's, he's also a dog in a literal sense too. A little bit, a little bit. He's supposed to be very pure and honest, and he's supposed to show contrast as to Mr. Darcy's darkness. It's supposed to be like a yin, yin and yang kind of thing. Ooh. Yeah. He's my foil Ooh. character for all you English Ooh. teachers. Woo! Oh my God! Ah. Okay, interesting. You have to find out how we bridge, bridge the gap there. I think it's very yeah. Well, you know. I guess, I guess you'll see if you come see the show on November 15th, 16th, or 17th. Thanks Absolutely. for the interview. Thank you, Donovan. Yeah. No pro. thank you. No, thank you. No, I know. No. Oh, like my goodness. Yeah. I guess we can get like this side. She's like a different person. That's play, baby. I'm here now with... You 
Angela Tsai, and uh, you're involved with producing the play, is that correct? Yes, my official title is assistant director, but really I'm helping to do everything from marketing, uh, procuring props, helping with the set, and just everything. Box office, we even have some producing interns here at Mountain Lakes High School, and they're helping me also with ad sales and getting the word out to the community. Yeah, lots of things have happened when you're putting on a show. We, we get a lot of uh, good help from the community, from Friends of the Arts, really just from people who want to help. Like our art director, Karen Putz, doesn't even have any kids in the district anymore. Um, but she's really excited to shout help out to Karen Putz. Karen Putz. Um, thank you for your for your time. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Yes. I'm here with Ella Harris Hone now. So Ella, you play the role of Jane Bennett, is that correct? Yes it is. Yes. Well thank you for the interview. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. Alright, I, I have to get out of here right now. Right now.